Welcome back to Morning Express. We are glad you're watching 8.24 a.m. on this seventh day of January 2014. And wellness strategist Wanjuka Waira is now with me in studio. We told you about that detox guide, which we are beginning today. We are all set to get started with it. Uh, but before we do, first, Karibu Sana. Thank you very much. It was good year. to see you. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you this year. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <we're> so <laughs> yes, you have known. Detox. What yes. are we talking about when we're talking about detox? Because it sounds like we're just telling people they're intoxicated, they have those toxins inside them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's not what we're saying. Yeah. All we're saying is that it's been a hectic 2013. Yeah. And just the same way, take our cars for service. We kind of need to realign our systems. Yeah. So this has got nothing to do with how big you are or how small you are okay. or how badly you eat or how well you eat. It doesn't matter. Your car doesn't have to be broken for you to take it for service. Okay. So that this, that's what this is about. Mm -hmm. It's just about getting your digestive system working properly, mm -hmm. just spring cleaning your liver a bit, yeah. energizing your spleen, mm -hmm. just ensuring that your system is vibrant and ready to actually walk you through 2014. Yeah. That's what this is all about. I like that you said that because it's very important that first you mentioned it's not that we're not trying to lose weight here. No, no, uh, no, no. It's no. not for the small or the big people or no. the sick people no. or, you know, all of that. Very important clarification mm -hmm. because people hear that detox and they I imagine this starvation period <laughs> where they will not eat <laughs> or they'll just drink some weird things. Uh, but also um, the fact uh, when we're talking about detox and the kinds of detox there are, mm -hmm. what will be taking us to this wellness uh -huh. uh, for life. Yes. Um, what is this one going to be particularly focusing on? All right. This is very different from what a lot of us know as detox. Yeah. First, there'll be no running stomach. Okay. Yes. So it just. So you don't have to sit next to a loo. No, you don't have to take time off from work and say, you know what, I need to do this <laughs> I'm thing. Detoxing. <laughs> I'm detoxing. Yeah. Yes. Because again, it's supposed to enhance the natural processes. If um, your baby, two year old baby, started having a running stomach for three days, you'd leave at the pediatrician. Yeah. So it's not normal for an adult also to be having a running stomach for three days and yeah. then you say they're detoxing. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not something that you infuse in a cup and drink. It is not saying that we're going to remove away there'll be no no solids no there will be solids mm -hmm. it's just that now we'll package them into three so we'll have the morning session yeah the afternoon session and the evening session so mm -hmm. you will have a juice which ideally we'll show you how to make yeah you will have a salad uh, a vegetable and fruit salad mm -hmm. uh, a, a combination of yeah and you will have a protein and you also have a starch okay however we will remove the frills from our meals yeah. that means there will be no no oil there will be no um, not no additives of any sort. Mm -hmm. There will be no salt. There will be no sugar. There will be no dairy. Mm -hmm. um, there will be no spices. Yeah. So it is just food as God intended it. The yeah. whole idea is also to help us get over our cravings. Mm. Some of us were really good during Christmas and kind of overdid it during New Year's or vice versa yes. or just said, you know what, it's the, the ho holiday. Yeah, the holiday. I will Bring deal it with this in January. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so January is here, so let's deal with it. Yeah. So it's also just to also allow your system to realign itself mm. so that you're not craving for things that ideally, you know, I've got no business craving for yeah. per, a plate of fries at 10 in the morning. But it's because probably you had gotten into the habit of doing so it. So it kills the cravings? Yes, it does. How it does, does that work? How does it do How that? does that work is that it allows, first and foremost, a combination of vitamins and minerals into your system. Mm -hmm. For example, you find that when you crave sugar, you find it's things like chromium, which you don't have, which is a multivitamin. You're saying, chromium who? Yeah. And how, where do you get that from? <laughs> yes. And, and uh, it also balances out uh, a lot of your other, like your magnesium, your potassium, the different things that you'll get from your fruits and your vegetables. We're going to be taking you through this. Okay. Uh, time and because also we are removing any additives mm -hmm. from the actual meal like if it's rice it's mm -hmm. rice rice yeah if it's it's fish it's fish but we're not going to uh, marinate it mm -hmm. whereas after the detox you can do it yeah but what I usually caution is that once you're done with the detox remember your system is now spring clean. Yes. So you just need to be very alert about what you put into it. Mm. Think of it so again. Just, yeah, don't just go back again into yes. the mess because then you've not achieved much. Exa exactly. Yeah. And yeah. you'll find that you're more drawn to healthier foods mm -hmm. and you'll find that the certain foods will make you gag. If that food makes you gag, you know, it's too greasy, it's too sweet, it's too salty, mm -hmm. it's too this, it's too that. Then ideally that's your, I like to call it my red light. Okay. That it's time to stop and think, mm. all right, what did I have? Mm -hmm. Why is my stomach churning and throwing up? Yeah. Sometimes you'll feel like food won't go down, certain foods won't go down your throat because you're just feeling, no, this is just not the right thing. Your body's rejecting it. Okay. So it's more like a car. You service it, 
and if it's and if you put in adulterated fuel you will know immediately as opposed to a car that has not been serviced yes yes yeah, so that's exactly what the detox does for you does for you yes so we're going to be doing breakfast what you have for morning yes. over lunchtime and evening yes. it's three days yes. why three days three days because uh in, in my professional opinion mm -hmm. being on a detox for more than three days does not serve you just the same way say more is not necessarily better mm -hmm. it's just good to just like the way you have for example prescription yeah and the doctor tells you take this three times three mm -hmm. times a day yeah for five days and you decide oh this feels really good so yeah. i'm going to do this for 14 days yes so it, it doesn't help you out so it's always good to work within certain proportions because remember this is just a process to get to get you started mm. and if you want to then get onto your weight loss it will also help cut out the portions you're eating yes it will help you focus on not uh, struggling so much with your cravings but focusing on on healthier choices okay. it will teach you how to pack if you're going to do this during the week some people prefer to do this during the week others mm -hmm. prefer during the weekend yeah it will teach you how to prepare your meals and to pack them and to be able to create that time to do it okay yes so i'm just about to get into that and uh um you can see that uh, part of the guide what we're going to be having for today we're going to prepare it and also uh your contacts will be scrolling how people can get in touch sure. with you uh, but we want to now get into the um, mm -hmm. uh, process of preparing it but very important to note and a question that uh, somebody had asked earlier on Twitter. Sure. As I go through the detox, mm -hmm. should I also work out? Can I work out? Ideally, we say, um, well, don't hit uh, an hour of Zumba, mm -hmm. but you could probably do a 30 minutes walk. That's what I usually recommend. Okay, so not heavy. Nothing heavy. If you can if you have a light workout, the better. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is also, remember, circulation also helps your system clean out. Yes. So you're actually empowering your system to clean out. Like today, we're focusing on apple and celery. Yes. And today's primary focus is our digestive system. Mm -hmm. You know, your intestines and your kidneys. Yes. Which is which carries the bulk of actually cleaning out whatever our body does not need. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. Mm -hmm. So we're focusing on apple and celery. That will be our, our main vegetable and fruit for the day. For so the you'll day. find each day we'll have a primary vegetable and a primary fruit. Okay. Yes. So today, digestive si uh, system, and the apple, kidney. celery is what we're focusing on. Yes. And we're preparing what we should be having for evening. Yes. So take us through very quickly for morning. Okay. Because I assume then people will start doing this tomorrow. So yes. take notes. Yes. Yeah. Listen very carefully. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so tomorrow can be your day one. Um. So for breakfast, um, day one of this um detox. All right. Uh, in general, yes. uh, let's just also just go back a bit for a few more rules. Yeah. One, you use a blender, not a juicer. And a okay. lot of people tell me, why won't you go? I have this fantastic juicer. I'm like, yes, it's fantastic and you'll continue to use it. But for this, you want even the, the fiber that's in the in the fruit and the veg. So it's important that you actually do mm. that. All our breakfasts will look alike. Okay. What does that mean? You wake up in the morning, you have a glass of water. Water. And then like today, we make your your apple and celery juice mm -hmm. which is one apple that is our apple mm -hmm. and then you have a stalk of celery from the stalk all the way to the lips okay then you dice that mm -hmm. and you put that in the blender yeah. and you blend it okay then you can add some water if you find it too thick mm -hmm. uh, and you can actually have it then you can just drink it straight yeah then breakfast breakfast for the three days is exactly the, the same. same it's oat and uh, a lot of people is like, well, Jiko, we're going to die. It's slimy. <laughs> we eat. We will gag. We will. Yes. So I was like, okay, let's do this. Put uh -huh. it one sp se what, seven spoon into a bowl. Right. A little bit of water and microwave it for 30 seconds. It will be edible. Mm. It will not, you know. Yeah. So it won't be slimy. Slimy and thinking, and thinking like, Ugh. this health thing mm. is not working for me. Yes. Yeah. So that's what will go. That's what we'll do for breakfast. For, for breakfast. Three days. Okay. And then for lunch, we will make the juice mm -hmm. as we have made for breakfast. Yeah. And then we'll take another apple and an, another stalk, one stalk of celery mm -hmm. and dice that and create a salad. Okay. So that will be our lunchtime salad. Mm. And then we'll have brown rice and we shall have soybeans. Okay. Now, a lot of us, when we buy soybeans and boil them, we are unable to to tell whether they're ready or not because mm. when you go they're still hard that means they're not ready it's like yeah. no they are meant to be hard so that okay. so that it the activated digestive juices to actually break it down so how long then do you tell i, I usually say if uh you can soak them overnight okay. pour out the water mm -hmm. and then boil them okay yes because okay. even the coat changes yeah. even the coat changes yes okay yes. So that's how it looks for breakfast for lunch, lunch for day one for day one for okay. dinner is what we're going to be discussing yes it's the same thing the same but thing. we then have um we have we then have potatoes mm -hmm. mashed potatoes and steamed fish and you can add lemon to it okay we can get to it sure yeah let's, let's, uh, let's get started get started move to 
this end uh, so make sure you watch this very carefully because <laughs> then you will be doing this uh, hopefully at home um, yeah, you have good apron. Yeah, what yes, uh, yes. Those, let's uh, get. Let's <laughs> you know, jump into the kitchen <laughs> and start let's doing. Let's get our aprons good. Yes. So um, see, we have a couple of things here. Yes. So what we're preparing now is um, what we're gonna do for dinner for day one. Well, I want to start with the juice with so the that juice. you have an idea of what, of to, what do. to do. Yes. So okay. basically, what I did is I pre-cut some things, mm -hmm. and um, this is my celery. So okay. I chose to pre-cut it at home. Yes. Because it's then easier for me to carry. So I okay. delay it's one portion, and this is how it looks like. Okay. So celery. that's that's my celery, mm -hmm. and you can even smell it as yes. nice and fresh. Yes. Yeah. Very. Mm, this is supposed to have raw, eh? Exactly. Bite some. Yes, enjoy. Have nice. some. So this is my apple. Mm -hmm. Nice so and washed. One. one apple. Nice yeah. and washed and clean. Okay. And um, the biggest question most people ask is, do I need to remove the, the seeds in it? Do mm -hmm. I need to remove anything in it? Yeah. I usually say the only thing uh, to remove is just the pip, the the, the, real, the store coat in it. Yeah. So that's what we do. Okay. So I will, I, will, I will chop my apple in half in half mm -hmm. and yeah and dice it let me move this so we can get a, a better shot. look yeah excellent so this is the only thing i will get rid of yeah so you have everything so the key thing is to not is to ensure that you get as much fiber as you can mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis yeah and uh, even for the salad we're going to do the very same thing so you goes like oh what about the seeds and those supposed to be thrown away i'm like well those are some of the most nutritious parts oh of really actually, of actually the, the yeah of the, apple. The, of the apple because yeah apple will get an apple and the minute you get to the seeds you're all <laughs> yeah, you know? Throwing them out. Exactly. Yeah. And I know some people also um, uh, peel the apple. Right. Like, please don't peel it. Just oh, for this three days. Oh, people who Yes. Apple. Just what for these three days, please don't peel it. Don't peel it. Don't peel it. Have the seeds. Yes, have the seeds. Have and the that skin. is the way to cut it before yes. you put it in the blender. I find it easier to dice. Yeah. P different people, different ways. Yeah. Others people try to, try, prefer to put it in wedges. Okay. But I prefer to actually dice it. To dice. Excellent. So this is then we go ahead and actually. So again, remember it. you said not a juicer, a blender, a blender, a blender. Any standard blender um, doesn't matter the brand. Yeah. We'll do. We'll okay. work well for you. All right. Exactly. Excellent. So this is how I prefer to do it. Mm -hmm. I prefer to put the the, the different things in layers. Okay. So I would put my celery. Mm -hmm. Then I will put in a little bit of the apple. Mm -hmm. A little bit. And this is really easy people. stuff you can yes, do at home. Yes, exactly. I'm so going to get started on this. Team Morning Express. <laughs> We're going to detox. Okay. Yes, then you actually put a little bit more. More. Now, okay, the so thing is yes. this. Even yeah. if it's one apple and uh, one stalk of celery, mm -hmm. it will give you a little bit more than one glass of juice. Okay. And uh, some people feel that, oh, well, Jika, it's, it's a bit too thick. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. If you feel it's a bit too thick, you can add, add some, add some water. water. Okay. To actually... You but not too much. Again, but not to too much. You yes. neutralize all of exactly. the goodness in exactly. there. Exactly. So... There's there's my one stalk of celery, of celery, and this the remaining and of the my apples. apple. There you go. Just smells healthy. <laughs> it already, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Before we even start. Right. So there you go. Mm -hmm. So what I will do as we're blending this, mm -hmm. um, a lot of uh, different people again different ways. Some people prefer it crunchy. Others prefer it uh, not too crunchy. Very smooth. Yes. Okay. So again, it's based on your personality mm -hmm. and and uh, how you want to do it. So okay. I think we'll try and get to the midpoint today. Okay. Yes, mid we'll try point. and get the midpoint. Okay. Let me have a bit of this. Alrighty. Okay, so we start. Let's get started. Yes. Gotta get loud. And now, I wanted to do that so that you see it, it actually takes a while for it to pick up uh -huh. because of the contents being very thick. Yes. Sometimes, I prefer to add water. Okay. A little bit of water. A little bit to make that easy. Yes, just to make it a little bit easy. Oops. A, a little bit easy right there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Then we should be able to get moving. Yay. So detox day one, this is some of the things you need to do. It's a wellness for life. That is the yes. name of the detox. Yes, exactly. And um, you are at uh, Atwanjiko Inc. Yes. INC. So if you want to get in touch with that, Atwanjiko Inc. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's okay. Continue. Can you guys see this other one? Sorry? 
Of course, we cannot talk over that. Yes. <laughs> it's allowed to just have its time. Exactly. Yeah. And remember just to keep starring. Okay. To so allow it, important. yes. To okay. allow it to actually then um, get together. As you can All see. All together. The, yes. Done very well. Already looking, it's coming together. Yes, it's coming <laughs> it's together. Lessened. It's now you know, yes. not as full as it was. Exactly. Uh, at the beginning. And this, at this point, some people also. I mean, you can add as much water as you want. Mm -hmm. So let's add a little bit more little just bit. to get this moving a bit faster for yeah. us. And as you can see, it's one glass. Huh? Yes. So you. I usually tell people try not to add more than a glass of water because mm -hmm. then it dilutes it a bit too much. Too much. Yes. Then you lose out on. Yes. Well, you don't quite lose out, but then you have too much to drink at, at a single time. Okay. long it's no, just it about doesn't. what two three minutes yes, and you're exactly. good to go so if we add the rest of our glass yeah, it's amazing how healthy things look <laughs> not so good <laughs> i know you know like it looks green and beautiful. yeah the thought of just getting that in there you go let's get down this stuff. yeah Dicing yes, one. I was mm -hmm. preparing this for um, for my salad. Okay, so this is good. So now, ideally, this is how it is. In fact, I'm going to pour you a glass. Yes, and we can have a seat. I'm going to try and try this yeah. out. If in case you've never had it, I'm going to tell you how it uh, tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how brave a soul you uh, are. I'm a brave soul. This is a very brave soul. Excellent. Yeah. So this is my other stock mm -hmm. um, of celery, which I had pre-cut previously. Yeah. So, so I said celery is rich in. It's it's actually very good for your digestive system, and I like the good. I like the fun fact that you actually um, yes, talked about earlier yes 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 about uh, uh, burning more calories burning more calories as yes. you chew on the celery yes exactly. very interesting that that was in there i had as well this. as the apple and, yes and yes. Yeah, an apple a day keeps the doctor, doctor away. away exactly yeah so this is us preparing our little salad my world this is you this is for you <laughs> <laughs> so when it what's the difference when it's now in this format because this is the in, yes. in essence what you've done before yes. but you blended it so what's the difference uh this is blended and that means um first it's easier to digest it's and, you're, easier. and it's easier for your system to actually take it in okay as opposed to this you have to crunch. You have to crunch. Yes. And Take time to chew. Yes. Mm -hmm. And remember that also increases the fact that then your digestion will actually start from your mouth uh -huh. and it will continue in your tummy. Okay. So there's and more work being done. With yes. This. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yes. Literally. Right. Yes. So wow. that's, that's well, where we are. I will are. tell you this. It, it looks good. <laughs> healthy. Uh, the taste part is what... Um, uh, yes. You may need to get used to it. And remember, you, you're not, you can't add anything to this. You cannot add anything. No, no honey. You know, no, you tell no, no. Oh, some honey. It's 
natural <laughs> or natural some, it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no honey, no nothing. No nothing. So yes. as is, natural. As is. And remember, you want to kill the cravings you struggled with. Mm. Yes. So Whatever. this helps to kill this, the cravings. Yes. Very important point there. Yes. And, as, and the fact that it's green, it has a lot of chlorine in it. Uh -huh. Yes. And that also helps oxygenate your, um, your, your system. Okay. All right. You ready? Yes. I am ready. I'm going to put away my iPad. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to taste um, <laughs> some of this very interesting uh, concoction. I'm going to call yeah. it that. Okay. So, this is apple, and celery, celery yes. blended for about, say, two, three minutes. Yes. <sighs> We're supposed to have are this for breakfast. Are <laughs> I'm going to be like, Lord, have mercy. Yes, I am. Oh, gosh. It and doesn't look really... see how thick yeah, it is. Look at how thick that is. Oh, exactly. my gosh. There you go. <laughs> and that's so why how said. long do I sip? Does one sip through this? You know, those who uh, go, no, no, just get out. No, I was like, no, 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 that's not the Don't plan. Okay. If, if you're the kind of people who have to be at work really in the morning, yeah. make this and put it in like a thermomag or something that you can carry. Okay. Some people choose to add ice cubes so it's really cold. Yeah. And that really helps. Some okay. prefer to drink so cold water. Take it slowly. Yes. So For about how long this one? Ideally, it should not an hour should an be hour. done. Okay. Yes. Because I'd have done it in one minute. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's on a heads up. Oh, one, two, three, go. And you know, okay. So we're gonna toast to this to sure. three day detox. There you go. There we go. Wow, let's see. Mm. How bad is it? Mm. Let's see. Oh, how great is it? It's good. You can live it's, with it, um, can't you? Yeah, I can. I mean this for <laughs> one hour. Sip and forget about it in about five minutes, then another sip. But this is really good. And you so have this is important uh, and in there for breakfast. And then there's a salad. So at what time am I having this? Uh, ideally, this is what you probably have at 10 and at 4. 10 and at 4. Yes. Living healthy individuals. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love the apples. I mean, those are sweet. Yeah, but you, you have to make sure you also get the celery. The celery. Well, I think that's what will be left at the bottom. And I'm like, no, I have left and the that's, celery. And that's where I learned it. That's where I learned it to get you there. Mm. This is good. Excellent. Excellent. So, we have gone through uh -huh. day one. Yes, we have. I see you still have some things in here. Yes, and that's what okay. I wanted to talk to you about. All right. So let's put away our celery. And I'm going to continue sipping at my... Yes, know? please do. Please continue yeah. sipping at your, at your juice. Well, we'll I'm not be here for an hour, but hey, we'll continue <laughs> after the hour. And by the yes. way, very important, sure. when we're preparing to get into a detox, is there something I need to do a day before, not to do, or do I just say, bam, I'm starting today, mm -hmm. you know, even if I had a beer last night or wine or whatever, I just get started. Or are there some things I need to first stop before I get into it? Um, this kind of detox, no, yeah. but uh, the biggest preparation is mental. Mental. Yeah. Okay. You need okay. to be ready to, you know what, doesn't matter how it looks yeah. or how it tastes, yeah. this is important for me. It's important for me. Yes. Okay. So this is, this is for our dinner. Okay. Yeah. So remember this breakfast, potatoes. lunch, dinner, potatoes. So this actually is um, two potatoes diced. Okay. Yeah. So then you boil them. Mm -hmm. No salt, no cream, no milk, no nothing. Okay. And just smash it. Okay. No, ma no margarine or butter or anything. Nothing. Just boil it and mash them. Boil and mash. Yes. Mash potato with no additional. Exactly. Nothing added in there. So this is uh, this is my fish. Really? And uh, I know <laughs> it looks <laughs> tiny. It's so tiny. And I, I, and I made sure that I, I ensured that I measured my palm size. Actually, I need to remove it from in there oh. so you can, our viewers can see how tiny that is. I mean, it's so small. So this is dinner. Yes, this is this is now what your dinner. Over and above now your juice and your salad. So there's juice, yes. there's salad for dinner, yes. and then there is... There's uh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. And there's fish. And, and there's let, fish. Let me... Um, you can add your... Um, uh, what do you call it to it? The lemon. The lemon to it. This is so my palm size. So don't look at my palm size. It's like, Majuka is going to kill us. We're going to be so hungry. Yeah. So if I place this on my palm, yeah. it fits. So I should measure, measure it. That, yes, yeah. measure your palm size. Okay. My word. So Honestly, so would tiny. I be hungry? <laughs> it is tiny because, okay, so how do you prepare that? This you just boil it. Just to boil. How yes. long about? Um, until it's ready, mm -hmm. depending on the kind of fish you have bought. Yes. Yes. So very little water and let it simmer. And let it so simmer. So not boil, boil the way we would boil like potatoes. Yes. Yes, but let okay. it simmer. Yeah. 
so very small yes. and the biggest question I think also another question everybody will be wondering and asking yes. is will I not be starving at night the stomach is just <laughs> now soundtracks <laughs> and waking you know, up the neighbors and waking up the neighbors and you know or your partner is telling you you know hey, like hey hun um, what's going on <laughs> Are you sure this detox is for you? Yeah. Well, this is what this is where it starts. The fact that these juices are this thick, mm -hmm. they will really, 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 really fill you up. Yeah. And then you have this salad. So I prefer to use a, a smaller bowl mm -hmm. so that I'm able just to, you know, fit everything in. Yeah. So if you eat like this, you'll find that you have you'll actually probably find even that too much. Okay. Yes, that's my experience. That's your it. experience. Yes. And we have some carrots. Are those going in for today? No, this is a teaser for this tomorrow. For tomorrow. Teaser yes. for tomorrow. So yes. it's day one. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Let's uh, have a sit. sit. Sure. And um, continue with this oh, discussion. Here's your juice. No, oh. leaving your juice behind. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you conveniently forget um, <laughs> you know? the green looking stuff. Um, well, orange, um, what is it? Apples and celery, Apple very and nice. Celery. Mm. Okay, Karibu sana. So, I'm hoping that tomorrow, as you're watching day two, you'll be doing day one mm -hmm. of the detox. So, very good. Um, in preparing this, what mm -hmm. kind of research did you have to do? Because I'm thinking it's not just something you wake up and mm -hmm. say, mm, mm -hmm. apples sound healthy, mm -hmm. celery tastes like crazy, mm -hmm. you just put it together, it must be healthy. I actually did a lot of research on this mm -hmm. uh, by, by virtue of the fact that I am I am crazy about natural things that work. Yeah. That means my system should open up as it should. My skin should glow. Well, yes, I'm a lot older, so maybe I need a little bit more vitamin this and that. Mm -hmm. But if I can get it from natural sources, the mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I picked up the main organs. Yeah. So that for women, especially, our digestive system is our biggest issue. Yeah. All the way from our stomach, small to large intestines. Mm. So I, I went to look for something. I, I went out to research what are the things that you can put together and what effect will it have? Especially if it's one, do you need two, do you need three, do you mm -hmm. need four? How much of this do you, do you yeah. need? So I actually did a lot of uh, research on juicing. Mm -hmm. And then also um, the things that, that put a, a lighter burden in terms of foods on yeah. your system. And that's why you probably find I removed dairies, I removed um, I re uh, the, the red meat. Yes. They're good for you. <laughs> It's not yes. something that you should get off, mm -hmm. but you find that I, I would, it's something that I would then not um, put on the detox by, by virtue of how much how much your system, how hard it has to work okay. to break it down. All right. And that's why you find there'll be a lot of fish, mm -hmm. there'll be a lot of pulses, mm -hmm. uh, there'll be your soybeans, there'll be your green grams, like on day three. Yes. So things that are easy for you to be able to assimilate. Okay. Yeah. So let's get this out of the way in terms of mm -hmm. this is for anybody, everybody yes. can do this? anybody can do this. Okay, so yes. mothers, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. but, but usually we say pregnant moms mm -hmm. and lactating moms whose babies are not yet nine mm -hmm. months old I usually would not put them on a strict regimen like this okay but if she chooses to juice she can have it. she can if she wants to have a salad she can have it okay. but the portions like have you seen of the food yes. are too tiny mm. for her because she's eating for two yeah well also. yes <laughs> depending on how many kids yeah. have, whether she has twins yeah. yes and the fact that she has to continuously nourish her body so she can still pick elements of this as part of a healthy diet for okay. her yes but not necessarily follow the program strictly all right yes and how often can one do this because we're doing it now yes. somebody's thinking okay i want to detox how often can one do that I usually say not more than once a quarter. Okay. More than that, it's so being three a bit, months. Yes, every three months is good, mm -hmm. um, it, it, and that means if, if you're you're really the kind of person where your work and take entitles you to actually be out with people and meeting and entertaining. Yeah. Depending on your lifestyle, mm -hmm. if you're more of a basic person, it's homework. You carry your home, your lunch home. Yes. Uh, from from home, and you don't go out too much. You don't party too much, and you can do it twice a year. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what I've seen a lot of my clients do, they pick on a juice that they prefer mm -hmm. and actually incorporate that into their Sunday meal. Okay. So you find people who, like for example, <coughs> the apple and celery is part of Sunday. Yeah. So they wake up and do their juice and they'll have a normal breakfast, mm -hmm. not necessarily the oats. Um, they will have their normal lunch, but it will have the juices in them okay. just to kickstart them. Others choose a green day. Yeah. Others tomorrow. A lot of people will love tomorrow. Yeah. Because it's pineapple and carrot. Yeah, so. I love pineapple. <laughs> yes. Yes. And uh, I I do know there are people who will say when you come, but I don't eat fish. What can I have instead? Oh yeah. There's like okay, you can have chicken. 
Okay. You can have tacky. Also palm size? Yes, again, <laughs> palm size. Yes. yes. For everything? For everything. So usually yes. I would say remove it off the bone so you're mm -hmm. able to measure it. Okay. Yes, some people say, well, I don't, I don't take pineapple. Is there an option to this? Unfortunately, that particular combination is very, is, is very strict, just that particular one. Mm -hmm. So some people then choose to do two day ones and then do the day three. Or okay. two day threes and only one day one. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're about done. But I want you to just remind us and say, mm -hmm. just in case somebody's joining us mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and has been seeing us mixing some yes, green things, things. <laughs> on set. Um, it's a detox, it's three yes. days, this is day one. Yes. Uh, but important that this is not to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Just take us through why we're doing this detox again. The reason why we're doing this is to jumpstart ourselves for 2014. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we're doing this. Yeah. Um, irrespective of whether you had a great or a bad year, you overdid it over Christmas or you didn't overdo it over Christmas, we all need to regularly mm -hmm. take our bodies through the system that allows us to actually feel fresh and clean. Now, the interesting thing that, which is the only caution I put with this, mm -hmm. is that you will visit the loo more often than once. Oh, okay. But it will be the comfortable <laughs> one. It will be the comfortable one. You won't, okay. you won't be, you know, running out of sight and say, oops, I like, need a break, yeah, I need a break. Great. You <laughs> said that, and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to tell my director, okay, let me take a short break right now. Yeah. That will be the comfortable one. Okay. And your system will feel very, very clean. Very clean. Yes, because I know some clients have come when it's like, you go, this is like number five. Yeah. Day, one day, this is not normal. It's like, well, yeah. is, it, is your tummy running? No. I mean, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. I've never experienced this, mm -hmm. but this is not no more. Yeah. It's like, no, this is actually how your system is supposed to work. So it okay. cleans you out. Right. Uh, some people do experience the weight loss. Mm. They actually do shed the weight mm -hmm. um, during this time. Other people actually sleep better. Other people, your skin clears up. It looks good. Yes, it looks good. So it depends, just like a pipe, it depends on what's clogged. Mm -hmm. If it's your skin, it will it will get fixed. Okay. Yes. Manjiko, thank you so much. See you again tomorrow. You're going to yes. be the only guest I've had three days in a row every day. It will <laughs> so be that's my pleasure. amazing. Um, thank you so much. Day my one. Pleasure. And we've been running your contacts, the emails, sure. the Twitter handle where people can reach you because I know they'll have many more questions. And feel free uh, to tweet me as well and to tweet Wanjiko at Wanjiko INC at yes. Wanjiko Inc. It's her Twitter handle at Sophia Wanuna. And we can ask some more of your questions tomorrow as we get into the detox day two. Sure. Thank you so much for watching. Our time is up. I thank you also for your feedback on the question we're asking you today, our question of the day on whether you support President Uhuru Kenyatta's uh, recent appointments of parasitical heads. Many of you are uh, expressing lack of support, not supporting that. Uh, just probably sample one. Uh, the worst part of it, even uh, as this is moving toward tribal lines and party inclined disappointments, I hope the president will not do the same in the other appointments. That is Maurice Onwanda. Thank you very much. And everybody else who took the time to tweet in. And I'm going to continue having this. So this is good. Good stuff. Detox. So let's do this again tomorrow. On behalf of the team, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.